President Moon's administration has proposed a $10 billion budget for job creation, which is expected to result in a lot of changes in the employment market. In the private sector, companies are already looking to convert their irregular workers into full-timers, providing better pay, more security, and added benefits. Our Kim ji was able to meet a worker who will be benefiting from this move. 38-year-old Chung sun Nu has been working as an internet installer for one of the country's largest wireless broadband companies for the past 13 years. He pays visits to private homes up to four times a day to help hook up TVs or fix problems with people's internet connection, which sometimes requires them to go up telephone poles to mend cables. Although things occasionally get tough, Chung says he has nothing to complain about. He'll soon be transitioning to a position at SK Broadband instead of working for a subcontractor, and it's what motivates him to work harder than before. My wife is particularly happy about it. She can now proudly tell her friends what I do for a living. It's a major plus that I'll be working as a regular employee of a big conglomerate, on top of the added pay and benefits I'll be able to receive. Tong is one of the 5,200 workers SK Broadband will be newly hiring next month. The company is setting aside more than $41 million to create a holding company to take on workers from more than 100 of its subcontracting companies. The move is part of SK Broadband's effort to increase its competitiveness in the services and security sector to better prepare for the era of the Internet of Things. Other companies, mainly in the electronics sector, have also announced similar plans to transition irregular workers employed by subcontractors to regular positions for similar reasons. The Korea Employers Federation says the proportion of irregular workers in the entire workforce stands at around 15 percent, not far from the OECD average of around 11.5 percent. The state-run Statistics Korea, on the other hand, says the proportion is at around 33 percent, while data by the Korea Labor and Society Institute show that nearly 45 percent or more workers hold irregular positions. Kim ji Arirang News.